Hello friends, welcome. In this video, I'm going to work with a dependent select here. So when I select the country, I want to display only the states belong to the country. And the same thing for the city. So when you select a state, I want to display only the cities belong to the state here. So let's go and open the VS Code. And inside the employee resources, here we have the select make relationship, but we're going to change that. And if you go in the filament PHP, okay, go to the documentation and search here for the dependent fields. Here we have an example. A YouTube tutorial how we can create dependent select inputs. Okay, and I'm going to create for our needs. So when we select the country ID, I want to update the state here. And when we select the state, I want to update the city. So let's remove them and now in the select we first need to add a label and let's say country okay after that we need to add options and in our options here i'm going to get all the countries we have so country all and we need the only the name and the ID. So let's say here, look the name and the ID. And we need to array them. So to array like this. And we need to make this country ID now reactive. So we can say here reactive like this. Okay, now let's come here and say select. Okay, select make the state ID now state underscore ID. And first, let me add the comma here. Okay. Next, first we need to add a label for our state. So let's say label state. Okay. And now we need the options from the choose. But we need the options dependent on this select. So we make this reactive and how we can get the uh country id in here and select the states based on this country so let's create a closure function and we are going to use the callable here and the get method so this get and let's say dollar sign country is going to be equal to the country find method and we need the ID so we can call this get so dollar sign callable get and add the country ID okay So we say country find the get because we use the callable country ID, what we have here, country ID. Okay, now let's say return. Dollar sign. Country. And call the states relationship method. So if I open the country, 
yeah here we have the states and states the country has many states okay so states and we need only the name and the id so let's say name and the id okay now if i save as it is right now and let's check how it's work we need we say here attempt read property states on null because right now we don't have select the country and we say here return country states plug the id so first we need to check if we have a country if or if we don't have a country if if we don't have a country let's uh, return state all and let's get only the name and the id so let's save it and let's come here and refresh we have all the states and we have all the countries now if i select the united states right now we have only new york very good if i select the united kingdom we have the manchester okay now you can see here when i select this united state and select new york okay but if i update this we have uh, no selection here okay and we can use in here the after state updated so when we update the country we can say here callback and we need to use the callback set here not get so dollar sign set and what we are going to do we are going to set the state so dollar sign set the state id to be null okay and let's come here and refresh united state argument state must be of type callback oh callback i said callable like this okay save it and refresh again United States, New York, United Kingdom, Manchester. Okay. Now let's work with uh, with city because right now we have only the country and the state. So let's go back, and I'm going to do the same thing in the state first. So we need to make the state reactive and also after we update in the state we need to set the city id to be null okay so let's copy them and paste it in the state and just here we need to say this set not state but set the city id to be null save it and let's copy now what we have make for the state all of this select copy and paste it down there and first we need to change this to be a city like this change the label the city okay okay options here now we need to get the state not the country 
So the last line state, and we need to say here state find state ID, and if we don't have state, return city and get the name and ID city all otherwise we get the city from the states so state cities and plug the name and ID okay like this save come here and refresh select a country United States select a state New York and uh, call to a member function on plug on null so state cities plug the name and ID let me check the state and here we don't have the relationship with cities so let's create that I forget to create that so function cities now return this has many city okay save come back and refresh again select united states new york and now we have only new york city good if i select the united kingdom manchester and now we have only the manchester here okay friends so that's it how we can create dependent uh country state and city three level dependent drop down i hope you enjoy friends and if you like a content like this don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video see you in the next one all the best